Welcome, I'm from Amazing Poco M7 Pro and today I'll show you a couple of tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. So these ones will be fairly simple and we can get started by opening up our settings. There we go, not sure why I didn't want to do it the first time. There we go. And in here, let's start off by navigating into the... Not this section, notification and status bar, that will be a good one. So we have notification style, here you can choose not what I actually expected. So you just have kind of theme uh, how big the notifications are, do we have any? So, there's one. Uh, generally seems like this one seems to be smaller, more enticing. So I'm gonna stick with this. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, we have a number of notification icons shown right here as one. We can change that to three, for instance, and this will give you now three and then the three dots, uh, just so you can see a little bit more information on what kind of application gives you notifications. Uh, then we have also a battery indicator in here and we have three options, the just an icon of a battery, battery with percentage inside and outside. And unfortunately we don't have any way to customize the status bar so let's move on to home screen. And here we will have things like the home screen style, so we have the app drawer which is uh, I selected by default, but you also have the classic, now this is classic but for iPhones. Um, but Either way, if you like this kind of style more, you can change it right here. Next, moving on, we have, I believe, in here. I guess it's not in here. Uh, I'm looking for the swipe down, but I think it's going to be somewhere else. But anyway, we also have the system navigation in here, which allows you to select things like, for instance, gestures. Uh, I'm going to select that as this is what I prefer myself. And while we're enabling gestures, we can also do other things like, for instance, uh, hide this bar at the bottom by checking the box right here. And uh, moving on, let's go back to main settings and then display and brightness. And here we have the light and dark mode, so you can choose whichever one you want, but there's actually a nicer thing that you can do, which is the dark mode options. And we have, uh, if I enable this, yep enable the switch to dark mode you can change it to for the device automatically switch between light and dark mode either from sunset to sunrise or on a custom timer uh, and additionally something that i haven't seen till today is the option to have individual apps be set in dark mode so you can be running normally light mode but for instance maybe you have some kind of app that you want in dark mode like um, let's just say reddit you can select that and everything will be in light mode apart from the selected app, which is a pretty nice option. Now while we're also in here, we can navigate to color scheme. This allows you to choose the saturation of your screen. Uh, Vivid, I believe is the default one. We also have the standard and uh, saturated and standard. Let's see which one looks best. See the Vivid one doesn't look that vivid for some reason. Saturated is more vivid than saturated. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna stick with the vivid as this just seems okay for me. And next we have also color temperature. This allows you to add tint, permanent tint to basically all, all of the phone. So when it's in the middle, that's the neutral one. It's closest to white, but for instance, you can start moving this around and you can see that the screen just subtly changes the colors. So like the white just kind of changes from green to purple to like red or whatever. So that's basically what it does. You have cold, warm, and default here as well as a quick switch. Now moving a further down, we have refresh rate and we have default and custom. Custom just allows you to choose specific refresh rate like uh, 60 or 120. And default runs up to 120. So it tries to preserve battery life when it's not needed to be running at uh, 120. And uh, when you start moving like this, it will automatically boost it to that 120 to give you the nicest, smoothest motion. 
and just to kind of also showcase how this works like we can navigate hopefully we can sorry for the people smashing doors uh, apparently you know no one is working here um so anyway we can try to look for developer options just to showcase this uh, phone uh bear with me while i try to look for this so this no that's not what i'm looking for Oh, there we go. So it's the OS version that turns on developer options and additional settings and the developer options. And in here we're looking for GPU something. I guess we don't have that here. That's unfortunate. Uh, there's something else that I want to showcase in here as well, which I'll go back to if I don't find the GPU anyways. I don't think I will find it in here. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it's in here. Uh, so that's unfortunate. As I wanted to enable overlay for frame rates, which you can do on some devices. Uh, specifically one that shows you like the GPU and frame rates uh, there is just frame rate but that doesn't really show frame rates correctly so it's not very good um, but yeah, it's not in here so I won't be able to utilize it but while we're in developer options we can scroll down and you'll find the section this one right here with window animation scale transition animation scale and animation duration scale these all three uh, if you're gonna be changing them I recommend changing them all to the same uh, they represent how fast the animations are well animated uh, one is the default so anytime you for instance go back and you have this like swiping motion this is just the default speed right but if you for instance select it to 0.5 everything now starts to happen twice as fast so the swiping motion is now much faster and you can take it even further and just completely turn them off if you want to just to showcase this I think I already passed it Yep, there it is we can select it to be off but in certain cases this will start looking a little bit jarring as going back seems fine but if we for instance go to recent applications for some reason this is animated which it shouldn't be Did I change it correctly let's quickly check uh, yeah, they're all off so this normally wouldn't be animated but maybe Xiaomi put some more effort to have it animated but the animation right here is default speed so it's not that great out of curiosity I'm gonna change it to 0.5 and let's see if it goes a little bit faster nope so it looks like no animation speed affects uh, this specific animation for some reason which is just a bit iffy but other ones like moving back is affected as you can see this goes pretty fast by now um this basically concludes everything that i want to show you so if you found this very really helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching